Hey everybody, it's James Mitchell. I know it's been a little bit since I made some videos on a regular basis, but uh, just had a lot of things going on in life, been really busy. But now I figured it's time. I've got a few things uh, that have built up in my mail that I need to do some unboxings for. But the one that I'm doing right now came in today. And what it is, is I ordered this in December of, of 2015, and it just now came in today. And it is my adaptive saber parts lightsaber from uh, saberforge.com. Now here is one thing that scares me. When she handed me the package today, she told me it looks like it has been through everything. And as you can see, the box has had multiple splits. It's been extra taped right here because of that. And it, it's just, I mean, it's been beat up on this end and everything so it scares me a little bit to be honest because this is a lot of money a lot of money i was part of the indiegogo group i didn't get on with the kickstarter so i was a part of the indiegogo group for the adaptive saber parts from saber forge and so it kind of scares me as you can see it's it's just kind of open on multiple spots and and i don't really want it to be damaged and having to have waited six months to get it I really don't want to have to send it back and wait again to get the part to fix it or whatever. So uh, let's see if it is okay. And I'm extremely excited to have my very own lightsaber for the very first time. All right, so here we go. As I, I'm trying, I'm going to try to. Uh, be as gentle with this as I can as to not damage it when I'm opening it because I don't want the saber to be damaged any more than it possibly already is. And so I'm going to try to be very careful while opening this. All right, so here is this, and obviously I don't see any damage on the blade as of right now. All right. Let's open up this and see. Beautiful. Right. Affecting the art of the saber. Saber Forge. I guess it's the stand assembly instructions, which doesn't do me any good because I don't have a stand. Uh, congratulations on purchasing your brand new custom saber from Saber Forge. Each of our exquisite sabers are in CNC precision machined from aerospace grade, blah, 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 blah. Warranty information, what it does not cover, what it does cover, everything's voided if it's under this. Saber Forge community. Got a little thing here with a Saber Forge business card. And then also a little Allen wrench, I guess, to be able to tighten. I don't know if you can hear that chingling. That doesn't sound good though. Uh, that's what the chingling is. Don't exactly know. what that is or why it's chingling. 
And then something else I'm noticing here, there's no electronics whatsoever. There's none. There's no electronics inside my blade. I mean, I've got a blade here. I've got all this hilt and the, this, this saber and there's not a single electronic piece. All right, that's a little bit depressing. Well, I have not got my saber properly. I've not got my full saber. So, we're gonna have some issues with Saber Forge, I guess. See how well they deal with customer service. And so, as you can see right now, I'm just gonna leave this part because it's not even worth putting back together right now. Because there's no electronics. There's no battery, there's no sound mechanism, there's no lighting mechanism, there's nothing. No LED. I've got a glorified dead saber. You don't give four or $500 for that. All right. Until next time. Peace.